Hello, and welcome back to Two Fools Network. We are playing XCOM. I'm Dave. I'm Charles. And that's just, Mike. That's Carrie. Just in case you hear random voices, that's Carrie. And that's Mike. And I'm Charles. And I'm Dave. And I'm a big one that you're imagining. Well, that sounds like an alien thing, and we should shoot you. Okay, so. Mission Control. We'll give him a Xenoprobe. He won't ever forget. Whoa, that's how you make a prom night special. <laughs> hey, we ought to make Carrie come over here and read this. You said you wanted to see the stars and the moon, baby. What? With my freaking voice? Yep, with your freaking voice. I know. Because years later, when you're like, remember when you were sick and you decided like... After an extensive analysis of the specimen's brain tissue, we discover, discovered... Discovered? Discovered? Would you like to do it? No, okay. Some unusual activity in the synaptic connections that may be the source of the abilities our troops encountered in the field. In the field? In the field. Alright. Although somewhat similar in a physical appearance to the sectoid we previously identified, this commander variant has an easily differential internal composition. We theorize that these enhanced electrical synapses capable of transmitting nerve impulses at nearly three times the normal rate are the product of careful genetic manipulation. If our theory holds true, that means the aliens are capable of modifying even the most complex tissue at a genetic level. And now, we may build the psionic labs. Three times the normal rate of what? The base comparison of what? I guess of the previous sectoids? The regular sectoids. Nice. Alright. Alright. This unit appears to be a drone, which is similar to the military drones we are familiar with. This particular example seems to have the ability to repair damaged equipment. Dr. Shen and I believe it should be possible to capture and repurpose these for our own use in the field. Yeah, we gotta get satellites in here first. At the moment, we don't really have the satellite, not the satellite uplink, but the satellite nexus. The nexus, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright. The drones we've disassembled seem to have a singular purpose to repair the alien technology, including its robotic counterparts. Although they act as robotic medics and lack any kind of offensive weaponry, we did discover a large explosive charge located deep within the substructure it draws on as a power source. With this and several of the alien devices, I continue to be amazed by what their creators have done to have been able to accomplish. Yeah. Dr. Shen believes it may be possible to hack these drones, allowing us to utilize them for our own purpose. Further details as to this specimen's complete combat capabilities may be available in the field if targeted in the unit analysis view. Which we needed Google to teach us what the hell that meant. We've yet to recover one of these in functional condition from the field. The men seem to enjoy using them for target practice. At the present time, we know that the cyber disc, as they've been calling it, is heavily armed. But it shows no clear pattern of behavior on the battlefield. Yeah, she can be sarcastic all she wants. Those things are rolling death. And by rolling, I mean hover. Now, we did get five new soldiers. Who all come with their upgrade? So, an assault, a sniper, a sniper. Support. Hey, support. Assault. I agree. We always get assault. We get enough help. Aww. I see what you did there. Do, 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 do. Commando, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Alright, so we just finished building those la uh, three satellites and we got $12 rebate. Hey, buddy. So far, we've been unable to ascertain whether this is strictly a mechanical creation or a living organism. Based on our findings, it has an alternative biochemical system based on the silicon atom. 
like carbon, silicon can create molecules that are sufficiently large to carry biological information. I think I should be saying sufficiently large enough. <laughs> and since silicon has several chemical properties similar to carbon, it is possible this could be a new and completely alien life form with respects to the specimens we've already encountered. Its internal mechanisms seem to operate like organs, giving it the ability to circulate plasma through its core system, which in the same way blood flows through our bodies. Our unit analysis view available in the field should provide additional specifics regarding the species' various combat aid abilities. That's the point that they're saying is, is this a robot or is this a living thing just made out of silicon? Because externally, it looks like a flying disc, a flying metal disc. Yep. AONs. Oh, well it is an alien. And then we can use their their body parts to build bonuses for our fighter crafts. The bonuses are a one-time use, that's why I don't really use them. Well, I mean that does come later in the game. To a degree, some. Alright. Commander. We're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the Hologlobe. Tina. Or Russia. Well, honestly, we don't need another assault, Captain. What we're going to do real fast is check the Situation Room. And we see that Mexico's the only one that's in a bad way. Since... No. See? Out of the mouths of babes, see? I know, Charles made the last the joke the last time. Truthfully, I'm thinking of Australia because I need the money. Okay. Australia, it shall be. Fly away. He went down under and then back up again. Alright. I was just... I whoa, was, whoa, whoa! I wasn't going to say that.
more. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance, so that's our next drop site. Let's do this! Get back on the boat! This is Big Sky. Which Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. True story. You know, for a bunch of people that don't want to reply, you guys sure do reply a lot. Did I give away the secrets? Alright. Construction yard. Can be quite a pain. A lot of little nooks of craze. Yeah, and it's quick to get surrounded. Especially with gaming and grenade throwing. Utahns and cyber discs shooting all kinds of craziness. Sniper rifle guy can double tap. Colonel Simon. Nick the census man. Yeah.
Locked and loaded. I'm ready. Operational objectives complete. Oh, there we go. Argentina and concerns for their citizen safety is building. Put your damn clothes on. Since they don't have a satellite technology that can track the aliens like we do, they're offering a substantial amount of assistance to our efforts if we help police their airspace. Space. And we will transfer them a satellite. Not only do we cover them, 
which is what we want anyways. Satellite launched. And now we have waves. We will do instant autopsies and interrogations. Let me tell you, not the South Americans who have raids. It's the leftovers from the war who have raids. The Brasher boys. Alien terrorizing Manchester. Let's send the sky ring. Setting down. Well, while they look up whether the stones are the next deployment site Aussie is in the UK. Manchester, we're gonna land there and kill some aliens. We've gotten reports of alien activity taking place in a densely populated urban center. We should move. Come here, little mouse. Well, let's see what kind Central, of Central Strike One is on. locked and loaded, awaiting drop orders. Affirmative, Big escape. Sky. Squad is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your fire out there. Time, we have civilians, civilians on the ground. Repeat, civilians are in the AO. Well, 
ready to engage. This round will be a reload and hold. Back online. Connect. 
not a kill. Specialty among the only entire the squad. The that takes a solid don't effort. Have to reload. Okay. Yeah. Alright, right, so we definitely want our new knockout person to be sprint. Extra conditioning confers extra health based on the type of armor equipped. Heavy armor, heavier bonus. That's the first assault you've seen hit major. Remember, we will be watching. Colonel. Nope. Alright, so we have $400. So in engineering, let's go ahead and start building our facility. And we still cannot build the next. Another engineer for our workshop. Uh, putting satellites over countries, accomplishing jobs. We remember when we went to Australia, we got the two hundred dollars. One of them might have given us scientists or engineers. I think we got two engineers. All right. Well, our precision laser research is now complete. After a number of failed experiments, we finally succeed in focusing an accelerated energy pulse through a narrow field lens while still maintaining adequate energy efficiency. The result is an extremely capable weapon akin to the traditional sniper rifle, but with a much greater chance of inflicting critical damage on enemy targets. We believe this weapon is now ready for deployment in the field once Dr. Shen and his team complete the fabrication process. During our test, we also developed another prototype operating under the same principle but relying on a modified prism to scatter the beam rather than focus it. We envision this weapon filling the same tactical role as the traditional shotgun but without the ammunition restraints and with a greater damage output. However, with as with our other laser-based weaponry, heat disposition disposition dis, disposition is it? Yeah. Oh, dissipation. dissipation. Sorry, wow. I wasn't even it, at the word. Isn't I that fun? Issues continue to plague these designs. How many damn words do we know and how many can we say? Quite a few. I know. Cheeseburger, hot dog, french fry. Alright, so we now have access to. laser sniper rifles. We're gonna go ahead and build two. And a laser shotgun. Go ahead and build two. We will add the chrysalid chittens. We can build two of them, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we do not get tactical nuclear world war warheads ever. We're already failing. Well, it's our plan. So this is where I was telling you about when you have your work workshop rebate up. Not only did we get a little money back, but we got alloys and Illyrium back. Nice. And unless I'm mistaken, we still can't make our nexus. Nope. We need some more uh, engineers. And we can build more workshops to get more engineers, but we need one more engineer to build a workshop. Good times. 
Well, I think that's a good stopping point for right now. We'll see you guys on the flip side.